here and today we're going to be looking at the artsy make your own kitties pack so this set looks really cool because we get to make two of these cute little projects you can make one for yourself and your best friend can make one your sister or you can just make them both yourself it looks really really awesome so if we take a look at the back of the box it shows everything that comes inside so let's go ahead and open it up so the first thing that we have in the box are the two kitty figures. Next we have two sets of instructions. One for the pink tabby cat and one for the purple calico cat. We have two stylists. We have the pink cat tail and ears and the purple cat tail and ears. We have four eyes, two for the pink cat and two for the purple one. We have our best friend's heart puzzle pieces. Now the purple one is going to go to the pink cat and the pink one is going to go to the purple cat. We have two noses. We have two eye color pieces some that are gold and some that are blue and I guess you could just choose whoever wants which one but I'm just gonna go ahead and place the blue ones with the purple cat and the gold ones with the pink cat next we have two of these foam stickers and the last thing that we have are the fabric pieces so we have a bag of the pink colored fabric pieces for the pink cat and some purple colored fabric pieces for the purple cat. So that is everything that we have in the box. Now we have a pink cat and a purple cat to do today. I'm going to do both of them in case you need instructions because their colors are a little bit different and their fabric pieces go in a little bit different places. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to start with the pink one and then we will do the purple one. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's take a look at the instructions for the tabby cat. So it shows us right here a little diagram of what the cat will look like from the front, back, and side. It shows us the pattern that we're going to push each of these pieces in. It also gives each of the colors a different number. So white is one, the light pink is two, and the hot pink is three. And then if you look at your diagram, you have the numbers one, two, and three on here. So that is really cool. So all we're gonna do is kind of follow this diagram. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, our cat is very, very smooth. So uh, what you can do is you can take a marker and you can put your own dots on here where you want to place your fabric pieces. So you can follow your own pattern, just like the pattern on the instructions right here. So I'm gonna kinda do that for this part right here. And then we will try to follow those. So here's what it looks like if you want to try to mark out your own little dots here so that you don't mess up. But really, it doesn't really matter how you do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I might follow my dots right here, I might not. Just however I want it to look. So what we're gonna do we're gonna take our piece of fabric, so this is the white, and I'm just gonna put it around this piece right here, just to kind of get me started. And I'm just gonna poke it down into that foam right there. So that is super easy. And then I can just kind of decide where I want to put some more pieces. So I'm going to do another one about right here. Okay. And then another one to the side. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you stay in this section right here for the white, it'll be just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up while we do this little white section around the face. Now I'm going to screw in the nose and it looks like I still need a little bit of white right here. So I'm going to take another piece and place it right there. There we go. 
Now we're going to need a little bit of white right here on this chest area. Now we're going to need to do some white right here, here, and here. So here's what it looks like with all of the white and we have plenty of white left over But I'll go ahead and just set this aside So now I'm going to start on the light pink and I'm going to start with this stripe right here Kind of goes from the front all the way around the back and To right here and I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in with some of the light pink fabric Alright, so here's what that stripe looks like. I think it looks really good. So now what we're going to do is we are going to start doing the stripes around the head. So there's one here, 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 and right here. So we're just going to fill those in with some light pink. Alright, so here's what it looks like with the white and the light pink. Now for the rest of it, we can pretty much just fill it in with this hot pink. But the only thing that we do need to watch out for is the eyes. We don't want to place any fabric into the eye holes. We also want to leave a little space right here for that foam sticker. Now you could probably still fill this with some fabric, but I don't know how well it will stick if we do that. So I'm just going to try to stay away from the very center of the paw. And then we just need to watch out for the ears. We want to keep those clear and the tail. Pretty easy. So let's go ahead and just fill the rest in except for those areas with some hot pink. Alright, so to save time in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and finish up all of this hot pink off camera. Alright, so I have just finished filling in all of the pink. It looks really good. What we're going to do now is we're going to take that eye color. So we've got this gold sparkly piece and the eyeball. And then we're just going to take it and place it right there behind it. Like that so you can kind of see that like gold glitter. Next, we're going to find where the eye was. So it's a little hard to see once you've put all of your little fabric in here, but there is the eye. Again, I didn't cover it up, so I'm just going to take it and we're just going to poke it in. Kind of screw it a little bit. And there it is. So let's go ahead and try the other one. Again, we're just going to take that eye color, place it around the eyeball. Go find the spot for the eye, which is right here. And we're just going to press it in real hard and give it a little bit of a screw as we push it in. 
And there we go. So that looks really cool. Now we're going to need the ears and the tail. Open it up. Like that. I'm going to find where that little ear dent was. So here it is. Right there. Make sure our little pieces are stuffed in. Right there. So we're going to take the ear. We're going to place our little pin like that. And let's see. We should just push it right here and as we push it in it will give it an ear do the same for this one right here again you want this little piece to face towards the front that gives the ear a little bit of a curl towards the front so that looks really good and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn it around we're going to find the little tail dent which is right here take the tail Place it on top of the dent and just push in that little circular spot. Really good. Oh, I broke my little foam a little bit. Shove it in there. There we go. And now for the last part, which is the hand. I'm going to find the little space I left right there in the center of the hand. Which is right here. And we're going to get one of our little fuzzy dots, pop it out, take off the sticky back, like that. So now it's sticky on this side, and place it right there, take off, actually I'm going to leave this little sticky right here for right now while we do our other cats. And then we'll come back and I'll take that off and make sure that the hearts can line up just right. So let's go ahead and just take a look at it. So here it is without that little heart piece because I want to make sure that when we put them together they line up just right. So I don't know exactly where I want to stick this on so I'm just going to set this aside for now. Let's go ahead and get our purple cat. Now if you have a friend they will already be making their purple cat or you were making the purple cat and your friend was making the pink one. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the purple cat, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to start with our dark purple. And I'm going to start by placing the dark purple right here around the very bottom. Not in this little space right here because this is going to be a slightly lighter purple, but just around the bottom of the feet, right here, here, and here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to do all around the paw with some dark purple, but not in the center of the paw. So for the last area that's going to need some dark purple, it's going to be this groove right here and this one right here that kind of goes to the back a little bit right there. So let's go ahead and fill those in. So here is what the cat looks like with all of the dark purple. Now let's do the light purple. So we're going to start the light purple by filling in the rest of the area above the dark purple on the feet. Alright, so now what I need to do is just fill in the light purple all around the head, all the way around, not filling in this area because this is going to be white and making sure not to fill in where this eye is or where the ears are. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that off camera. Alright, so here's what it looks like with all of the dark purple and the light purple. And what we're going to do now is we're going to fill in the white. Now, when we do the paw, I am going to leave this little space right here um, without any fabric. 
so that I can place the sticker there, but I will put a little bit of white around the sides. I will put white around the face, except for the nose here, and I did leave spots for the eyes when I was doing the other colors. You can see those there and there. And then for the tail, we're just gonna go around the tail and leave that there. So I will be right back and we will take another look at it. All right, so here's what it looks like with all of the colors on. So let's go ahead and get started placing on the accessories by starting with the nose, like that. Now let's do the eyes, and we're just going to use this little blue piece here, place it on, and find where the eye hole was, just like that. And then we're going to do another one, like that. And next we are going to get our tail and ears. Start with the ears. I'm going to place them on the ear spot. Like that with this piece towards the face. Get our little tool here. And punch it in. Like that. And then do the same thing for the other ear. And for the tail. Gonna find that little hole, place the circle right there around the hole, and punch it in. Like that. And I kind of like to double this one up just because otherwise it kind of flops down. There we go. And we need to get our little sticker and pop it out. Place it right here in the center of the hand. I think some of these pieces are starting to pull out. Let me just push them back in. Okay, take off the sticky piece on the front. Go, make sure that's on there. I'll just press it down just a little bit. Then we're just gonna grab our pink kitty and we're gonna place them side by side. And I'm going to get my little best friend pieces, like this, place them together. And we're going to place them pretty closely together, as close as they'll get. And make it so that they both stick on. So if we place this one here. Oh, I forgot to take off that sticker. Here we go. Again, just place these together. I really want it to be able to line up just right, so it's a little tricky because I want them to be around the same spot so that when we push them together, it says best friends. So let's see if we put them together. There we go. So that is really cool. Alright you guys, so what did you think of the artsy make your own kitties? I think that they came out really, really nice. Now one tip that I will give you is to keep your little stylus right here. Just in case a piece falls out, you can just push it back in. So definitely keep these, one for your friend and one for you. And I just think that they came out really, really cute. So what did you guys think? If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more artsy videos. Come back tomorrow for a new video, and if you liked the video you just saw, don't forget to check out our other videos. Find us on Facebook and other social media, and as always, thanks for watching.